As the shadows of impending war fell over the Iceni camp, Boudicca, a formidable figure draped in defiance, stood at its heart. The air buzzed with anticipation as families, their faces etched with a fierce resolve, gathered around. From hidden recesses, the Iceni retrieved family heirloom swords, meticulously concealed from the prying eyes of the Romans, revealing blades that echoed with the history of resistance. These cherished weapons, passed down through generations, emerged as symbols of ancestral strength and an unwavering commitment to liberty. Despite their scant weaponry and meagre armour, the Iceni warriors, with flames of determination flickering in their eyes, prepared to march into the looming tempest of battle. In the last episode, Boudicca, a Celt, rebelled against Roman oppression after they mistreated her and her daughters. In the year 60 or 61 AD, during a time when the Roman governor Gaius Suetonius Paulinus fought against the Isle of Mona, a place where British rebels and respected Druids found refuge. The Iceni people began to talk of rebellion. With the support of their allies, the Trinovantes, a powerful uprising started. Leading the rebellion was Boudicca, a strong, feminine leader. According to Tacitus, the rebels found inspiration in the stories of Armenius, a leader of the Cheruski tribe in Germania who drove the Romans out of Germany in 9 AD, and in the tales of their ancestors who expelled Julius Caesar from Britannia. Cassius Dio mentioned Boudicca's use of divination, including a hare predicting destiny and prayers offered to Andraste, the Britonic goddess of victory, and their first target was Camulodunum. The attack on Camulodunum, once the capital of the Trinovantes and now a Roman stronghold, unfolded tragically. The city, once proud, showcased Roman power with a grand temple dedicated to the Emperor Claudius. However, beneath the surface, resentment grew among veterans who were accused of cruelty. Quintus Petilius Serialis, leading the esteemed Legio IX Hispania, tried to defend the city, but the gods seemed to be against the legions, leading to a disastrous defeat. The infantry perished, leaving only the commander and his cavalry to escape. The ground where the battle took place is now lost to time. As the desperate cries of the city reached Roman authorities, they turned to Catus Decianus for help. Unfortunately, he could only send a small reinforcement of 200 auxiliaries. Boudicca, the bringer of destruction, led an unrelenting assault reducing the city to ruins. The air was filled with the cries of the defeated as the remaining defenders sought refuge in the sacred temple, now under siege. From the ruins of Camulodunum, Boudicca surveyed the devastation she caused. The winds carried the sorrowful sounds of the fallen, but in her eyes there was an unyielding determination the once proud city lay in ruins, a testament to her unleashed wrath. With a determined gaze and a heart forged in adversity, she raised her sword, silently vowing to bring a tempest to Londinium. The stars witnessed her indomitable spirit, and the fate of empires hung in the air. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Or, if you really like the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. There, for as little as $1 a month, you'll gain access to an ever-expanding variety of exclusive Ancient History Guy content not found anywhere else online. All donations go directly back into the channel, helping us on our campaign to conquer YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.